Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. We are all well aware of Google Earth. It maps the Earth by the superimposition of images obtained from satellite imagery, aerial photography, and other fancy stuff. It gives the most innocent and pure image of the Earth. Well, most of the time. You've no doubt already come across some interesting finds on Google Earth. From weird lines that run across a desert to whole regions that are blurred out, here are 10 weirdest Google finds ever. Number 10, the Nazca Lines. Peru is filled with mysteries, but this one has surprised scientists the most over the years. If you ever checked the desert in southern Peru on Google Earth, you will witness simple geometric designs like trapezoids, straight lines, rectangles, triangles, and swirls on land. Some of the swirls and zigzags start to form more distinct shapes like a hummingbird, a spider, and a monkey. These are the renowned Nazca Lines, which are the subject of great mystery for over 80 years. How were they formed? What purpose could they have served? And were aliens involved? No one knows the answer to these questions. In total, there are over 800 straight lines, 300 geometric figures, and 70 animal and plant designs, also called biomorphs. Some of the straight lines run up to 30 miles, while the biomorphs range from 50 to 1,200 feet in length. For context, that's almost as large as the Empire State Building. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. An Untouched Rainforest At times, it seems like humans have explored every nook and cranny of the land on Earth. But in 2013, researchers went somewhere that almost no one has ever been before all thanks to Google Earth. The destination was Mount Lico, Mozambique, where the research team discovered a high-altitude rainforest perched atop sheer slopes. Welsh conservation scientist Julian Bayliss first discovered the spot using Google Earth. Actually visiting the forest required a dizzying 400,123 meter climb up a vertical granite face. On top, scientists found a remarkable ecosystem populated by butterflies, spiders, and small mammals. A few old handmade pots revealed that someone else had once made the climb, perhaps a hundred years before. No one knew for sure who left the pots behind. Number 8. Sandy Island this is the most mysterious island there is. Because our maps were consistently updated with input from explorers and cartographers, it wasn't uncommon for an unknown piece of land to show up on them. While it's an error most of the time, on occasion, maps do contain things we had no idea existed. Take the sandy island in the Pacific Ocean, which showed up on some maps, but not others. In reality, there's nothing there and has since been removed by Google Maps. It's not entirely an error, though, as the island has been showing up on maps since at least 1876. It was first recorded by the whaling ship called Velocity, and we still have no idea what it is they saw there. The interesting thing is that it's not blurred. It has been completely wiped out from records of Google Maps. Could the government be behind this? We might never know what goes on there if they are. Number 7. UFO Sightings in Antarctica Most countries are now on the map, which provides a broad view of the world. Alien believers also use it, and they believe they've observed the form of alien life. It is believed that a UFO landing site was found in Antarctica. In a screenshot of Google Earth, a huge disk was seen by a user. It could easily be a hiding place of aliens, as Antarctica is still the least discovered part of the world. In another image, you will see a small depression in the snow with no other traces around. An outstanding representative of the Russian UFO community, Valentin Degterev, believes that the location is a sign of alien life forms. It is 65 meters wide and 230 meters long, so it is large enough to be used for shipbuilding. What do you guys think? Is it real and are aliens planning to take over the Earth? Number 6. Loch Ness Monster 
state-of-the-art sonar equipment, a yellow submarine, and even a white witch have all been used to try to find the elusive Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster is a creature that is said to live in Loch Ness in the Highlands of Scotland. A monk was the first person who claimed to have seen Nessie in the 7th century. The first photograph was taken in 1933, but the scientific community has never confirmed the Loch Ness Monster's existence. But it seems all you really need to track down Nessie is an iPhone. Mysterious images taken from space are making waves with Nessie fans, as they appear to show a creature swimming in the world's most famous loch. The pictures were captured separately by two amateur hunters, Peter Thane and Andy Dixon, as they used an iPhone satellite map app. It had been feared the 1,500-year legend was over after 18 months without a recognized sighting. But now, enthusiasts' hopes have been raised again. Number 5. Harp Site, USA You've probably heard about Harp, but let us tell you a little bit more about the project. It is funded by the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Air Force. This program itself aims to analyze the ionosphere and study the ways to improve radio communications and surveillance technologies. If you think that these guys are doing good things, conspiracy theorists will say that you're wrong. Many people around the globe think that the harp is responsible for weaponizing weather and triggering floods, earthquakes, droughts, and other unwanted natural disasters. Yeah, you heard that right. Most likely, part of the reason similar theories appear is that harp sites are highly classified, and it makes people think, what do they hide from us? Of course, the harp staff denies these allegations, but what are they hiding there that they had the place censored? And the answer, so no one goes on a trip there, is not convincing enough. Google has kept a lot of secrets from us, but this really is one of the biggest there is. Number 4. Biggest Word Hamad bin Hamdal al Nayhat, a billionaire sheikh and member of Abu Dhabi's ruling family, has had his name carved into the sandy surface of Al Futaisi Island, an island he owns in the Persian Gulf. At half a mile tall and two miles long altogether, the letters Hamad may be the world's largest. Regardless, they're visible from space. Normally, words written in sand wash away, but these letters are large enough to form waterways that absorb the encroaching tide. Indeed, at the time these satellite photos were taken, said tide could be seen flowing through the letters all the way to the M. Is there anything that rich people cannot do? Number 3. Taal Lake this one is a particular sight for sore eyes. Taal is one of the three biggest lakes in the Philippines, and the volcanic crater was formed some 500,000 years ago. This is a lake which is inside a volcano, which has another volcano inside, with a lake inside it. And in the middle of that lake, there's a little island. Hard to keep track, right? That's how weird this lake is, and from Google Earth, it looks as weird as the description sounds. So, what could be so devastating and horrifying about it? How about the fact that in 1911, approximately 1,300 people lost their lives during the volcanic eruption from inside the lake? Tsunamis swept the coasts near the lake and the land was destroyed. Taal is one of the most carefully monitored seismic locations in the Philippines. But does this stop people from building houses near it? Hell no! The real estate market seems to be booming. During the volcanic eruption at the beginning of this year, the authorities acted fast and evacuated the population. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. Swastika-shaped building complex. If this is not the most visible Nazi hideout, we don't know what is. <laughs> We're just kidding. When builders of the Coronado Naval Amphibious Base in San Diego planned this complex in 1967, satellite imagery was probably the furthest thing from their minds. But in 2007, Google Earth detectives found that four unconnected buildings on the base formed an unfortunate shape when viewed from above. A swastika, the Nazi symbol. The Navy said it was going to spend more than $600,000 to mask the shape, but it still remains the same today. Something fishing going on here, huh? 
What do you guys think? Number one, Babylon, Iraq. Google Maps has a habit of blurring out whole regions so that people cannot have a satellite view of the place. Babylon, Iraq is just another example of a whole city being blurred and made invisible. Babylon is a heavily populated city, but you won't see any of it if you examine maps from Google Maps. Blurring this city out is, in fact, rather disrespectful because there is much history behind the area. It used to be the ancient city of Babylon that was very powerful in the second millennium BC. At some point, it turned into a vast empire that stretched over the most part of Western Asia. But like all other empires, it was eventually destroyed. Given this rich historical background, it's strange that the city remaining after the empire is hidden. Maybe it's the government of America that doesn't want people lurking at the state of Iraq, as we know the type of relationship USA has with Iraq. Some people say that it could be somehow connected with the operations led by Saddam Hussein, but we can't tell for sure. All we know is that this historical tourist attraction site can be hiding something. What's the weirdest thing you found on Google Earth? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.